So there is another realistic skateboarding game that is in development currently, guys, and we don't really know too much about this game yet. We're going to sit down and discuss the development of the Untitled Skateboarding Game by Zella Games. If you simply type in Untitled Skateboarding Game into YouTube or Google, it'll pop up. We are a small, independent, remote-first game studio. Zella Games was founded by Daniel Zeller, the original creator of Skate City. Some of you guys may remember Skate City. It was a mobile game, actually. It's pretty good. Our team members are spread out from the northern part of Scandinavia to Central Europe. We strive to create better and long-lasting experiences for all players and creators. I like that. Just a short little write-up about what they strive to do and who they are and where they are going. And yeah, that's it. And if you go below this, it says, what are we working on? Followed by a insanely realistic picture that looks like almost session it looks like a hyper realistic skater xl so one thing that we do know about this game right here guys is this game is being developed on unity so it's similar to skater xl in the sense that you know they have similar tools given to them to build a game like skater xl but this game right here guys is made on a newer version of unity a much newer version than the skater xl so in layman's terms and from what i know about that it means that you know the developers have more tools and artists have more tools given to them to make the game you know more in line with their vision just more tools and obviously you can see from this picture here guys that you know you have like sun reflecting through the hair of the skater so it says new skateboarding game by skaters for skaters we are currently working on a skateboarding game and are still very early in development our vision is to create a new and better skateboarding game experience for all players and creators so it says who are zella games down here daniel zeller founder and lead developer Andre, uh, art director and lead 3D artist, and Eric Frank, lead designer. So they have three people working the game so far. And also down below, they leave their business email and such, and you can follow them on Instagram and Twitter, which we'll get into next. Their Instagram and Twitter seems like the best place to keep up with what they're up to because they post a lot of stuff, guys. So here we go, 52 posts, and you can, you know, scroll back in time and see the development of the game unfold before your eyes. It's really cool to see where it, you know, where it started from and where it's going. I don't know about you guys, but when I saw this picture right here, I thought this was real life. Like, I, I still, it still looks like real life. It's actually insane. It's it's incredible. Well, Andre, aka Boris the Cheater, you might know him from, from Skeeter XL. He's the one that made MacBook. I, I'm glad that they have him on board because they have one of the absolute best mappers that I've ever seen working for them. So they're like, we already know hands down that this game right here, guys, is going to have the best looking maps that we've ever seen. Let's just have a look at this one minute video here, guys, and kind of, you know, break it down. And then we'll get into the newer videos and see what they're all about. So again, this is pre-pre-alpha gameplay. We've been seeing a lot of that with Skate 4, EA Skate and stuff. Titled Skate Game. One thing you'll notice, guys, right after the battle, let me just pause it, is the sounds were taken from JBoogie's sound mod for Skater XL. So the sounds are very familiar from, from Skater XL modding. And another thing we'll notice here is the dynamic moving clothes. We haven't seen something, we've seen similar things in Skater Excel in session, but not to this level. So. Very nice brick sounds. Throwdowns as well. We don't even have that in Skater Excel. We have them in, we have them in session? Yeah, kind of, I guess, right? Not really. There, there is a lack of animations happening, but this is still very early and there's still a lot of very nice things to say about this game at this point. So on Andre's page, he has a lot of different things about the game that he's been working on with props, models of certain things, maps, and just another trailer to check out. So let's look at this trailer here. And this was three months ago, so a little bit more, you know, a little bit newer. Look at Kay. It's insane to me, the level of detail that we're seeing with this map, and even the level of detail that we're seeing from the first trailer to this, guys, with the leaves of the trees, the reflections from the sun on the, the wrought iron gates there, or fences, what do you want to call them, the balconies, the wrought iron. It, it's actually incredible. Lots of very nice architecture. And we'll just kind of react to this video here. Still pre-pre-alpha gameplay, guys. Still very early. That looks insane. So you can already walk around. You can throw the board down. I don't know if you guys caught it, but just the crosswalk changing for him as he crossed the street there. That is sick. Looks insane. Like, it's already already comparable to Skater Excellent Session in a lot of ways. And look at that. Just the reflections and the, the puddles. As he goes to the puddle, just the, the ripple effect leaves a trail of water for a couple 
feet until it runs out of water. That's crazy. Just the attention to detail is insane. Look at that reflection. I don't know. Something about the puddles just get me. But also, like, the trails that you leave when you go through it. Whoa! Like... You don't see feebles looking like that in Excellent Session very easily. That was cool. I don't know how they did, how they did that. A little pole jam. Kind of missed the pole. Did he hit it? Yeah, we'll count it. We'll count it. Shoe materials for the game. Just the level of detail that goes into every single texture of the game is incredible. Like, look at this. Like, you can almost see the fuzz on this suede shoe. 3D model materials for entitled skateboarding games. So this is the skateboard. And you just, like, look at this, the glossy deck, like, and we're going to have grip tape on top of that too, right? So, I mean, I guess if you have, like, a grip tape cutout, it will also reflect from the board. That's insane. Like, that's crazy. You can see the hardware reflecting too, the grip, every little sparkle there, different lighting positions. That's crazy. So this right here, guys, is a prop preview video. It came at the same time as the last trailer, the three months ago trailer. So this is three months old, pretty new, all about the props. And do you guys recognize this spot in real life? Is this, is this a real spot? If you guys know where this is, let me know. I think these are modeled after real places, honestly. But who knows? The lights too, like potential to have night maps or dynamic lighting, you know, dynamic day cycles, day night cycles. Yeah. cool to see just i'm a really big fan of people you know who have made maps and maybe have learned skills through skater excellent session and now they're taking it to the next level you know being hired by their developers and you know just flying with it so right here guys is their very latest post from their instagram where they're kind of showing a brand new map here there's no textures on a lot of the stuff here but they have a look at the palm trees there it says we've started working on a new map by 46 xl aka frankie's kinky plaza and 46 is from the skater XL community guys so they're they're picking and choosing people from skater xl and session that have you know been putting the work in and you know they're getting some love so obviously guys they're still early in development they still have a long way to go with this stuff and i'm just really impressed with them so far and i just want to check it out because there's not many people that know about this yet and I think, you know, just more support and love towards them will help motivate them to just, you know, keep working on it. I just want to see this ball keep rolling. So we definitely give them a follow, guys, Instagram, Twitter, all of their developers that they have there. And just kind of keep up with what they're doing and let them know, guys, what you're looking for and expecting in the next, you know, realistic skateboarding game. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed this here. I'll be making more videos like this, talking about newer games coming out this year and just discussing things that we haven't really explored before because there's lots of different topics like this I haven't really explored yet. So if you guys enjoy skateboarding content at all, you know, real life stuff, video game stuff, I'm here for you. Leave a comment down below, guys, your thoughts on today's video, if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.